Today I'm going to show you my method of solving the hardest part of a Rubik's Cube, the last four corners. Finishing the rest of the Rubik's Cube up until that point is relatively easy, basically just using the exact same algorithms that I used with the uh, 2x2x2 Rubik's Cube. But those last four corners really, really uh, kind of worked uh, me over for a while there. However, I eventually came up with a method, and because it took me a long time to kind of remember even the start of it, I came up with a cheat sheet. Basically, I drew some diagrams so you can see how many rotations every corner needs in order for it to get back into its kind of finished position. And I kind of basically named all the corners. I just came up with kind of a map of what to work with. And I discovered an algorithm which basically just a series of rotations that will change the rotation of all four of the corners, but will keep them in the exact same position in the long run. And I had some extra room in the middle, so I just kind of threw in an example, just a kind of mental note if I kind of get out of doing Rubik's Cubes for a while. And then there's the equations of doing that series of rotations on the specific corners, A, B, C, D, uh, doing it in that order, or feeling that a combination of those will give you this type of rotations on each of the corners. So let's go try that out on this one. Let's pick a corner to start with. I usually go with blue just because it's something that I always start with so it's easy to remember. And I've already uh, looked at it earlier to make things faster. The corner positions right now are three, two, two, three. So we need a 1, 2, 2, 1 in order to uh, complete it. So taking a look at our sheet, we can see that 1, 2, 2, 1 is option U up here. So we basically just need to do that series of rotations, starting with corner C, D, A, and then B. So let's start it. I usually go with option, or basically you kind of work with this corner, so you want corner C over there. So let us start, since we've got the right corner in that place. So let's turn to the side, up, other side, up, other side, down, other side, down, rotate it 90 degrees, up, cross, up, cross, down, cross, down, rotate, cross, up, cross, up, cross, down, etc., etc. And this corner is already finished, always a good sign, because that uh, algorithm there rotates these four corners, or these three corners, and keeps this one static. So, always a good sign. Yeah, stubborn. And there you go, completely finished. So, now you're thinking to yourself, well, are you going to be stupid and carry your own that giant sheet with you wherever you go? Nonsense! That's just silly. I came up with a solution to that. I took the main uh, equations at the bottom there and shrunk it down into convenient wallet-sized uh, billfold form. And then of course I laminated it with some tape, you know, so it can stay in good condition. But, it's still a little bit too annoying for you? Don't worry, I got you covered. I made an even smaller version that fits inside of the card slot of your wallet. That stays with me always. Yeah, I know it's kind of lame, but it's a Rubik's Cube. Since when have they ever been known to be cool? <laughs> well, maybe back when they were first invented. In either case, have fun with these equations, and uh, hopefully this will help you solve the Rubik's Cube. I know it certainly helped me.